fall is upon us. The tall green grass is brittle and brown. The thistle, dead. The trees already beginning to give up on photosynthesis and hibernate underground for the winter. Only the ironweed, wingstem, and goldenrod continue to flourish into early fall. As for me, I sit quietly, contently, a nub of cigarette behind my ear, listening to the hiss of the fire, waiting for winter to arrive. So I need some more firewood up here that I can burn right now. And here's a dead red oak, standing dead. I'd like to fell it and lay it over this dead cherry here so that next time I come up, I can bring the uh, electric chainsaw bucket up and I'll have some firewood. But I'm gonna try to fell it with the ax, even though it's a little sketchy because the top could bust off. See what happens. That's hard. Glancy McClancer scene. All right, let me bring you guys in and show you. This was sketchy before, just got a lot sketchier because the middle's hollow. Not only is this hard as woodpecker lips, but it's hollow. As you guys know, typically I like to keep my face cut flat on the bottom or fairly flat, but when it's hard like this, those 90 degree cuts really beat you up. So, I'm gonna take a little bit more and then I'm gonna go from the back with the saw, I think. This actually has a hard side lean and it's got one big dead branch to the top. Really need to be careful here. That's why I keep a, a tiny little wedge and a small saw for just such occasions as this. I think it's gonna be compensated because it's got uh, I lean this way, but then it twists that way. Let me show you what I'm looking at here. Might be hard for you guys to tell, but you see how it has a lean this way, starts to twist back, and then the branch tips that way. But I got one fairly decent bone back towards me. So that in combination with the fact that we are hollow inside, Makes this little tree pretty sketchy. There's camp. I'm trying to hang it on this cherry right here. It might bust off, but it'll be hung up there waiting for me to buck. Looks like we got some decent holding wood on the outside there. Take an extra precaution with this one because it is a little sketchy, but I also haven't swung an axe for a while or felled a tree for a while.
solves them is not long enough. That was not an easy one, guys. It was hard as a woodpecker lips, and that saw needs a new blade. Nonetheless, banged her over. Come on, be stubborn. Oh, I might as well tell you what little ax I was using here because I'm sure some of you will ask. This is the Council Tool Boys Ax Velvet Cut uh, version. Of course, I've ground the um, cheeks back to about a 17 degree flat grind with a very small secondary bevel on there. I think you can see that. And this isn't the original handle. I think you can see the handle is thinned down considerably. Um, the first handle came loose. I tried tightening up and just couldn't get it, so I had to rehang it, but I am glad to have this ax back in action. Well, I hope you guys are having a uh, great Labor Day weekend, enjoying family and friends, or as I am, solitude and the self, and some porridge. I hope you do find some time to get out in the woods and appreciate nature. We really are part and parcel of nature, even though we have separated ourselves over the last millennia or so. We're not separate. We are nature. And with that said, we shouldn't be uncomfortable in it. It's kind of strange, myself included, that we got so uncomfortable in the place that we came from in the uh, substance that we're made of. We shouldn't be uncomfortable outside. And as hard a time as I give the bushcrafters, that's part of what true bushcraft is about. It's becoming um, more in tune with the natural resources at your disposal more in tune with the tools that it takes to live out here and uh, more in tune with the skills that's needed to be comfortable out here. And I applaud those efforts. I really do. I know I have given bushcraft a bad name in the past or have poked fun at it saying it's just playing in the woods, but real bushcraft isn't that. So I also want to give a shout out to Indiana Doug. If you guys are subscribed to me because you like axes or chainsaw content, you got to check him out. Um, he has a good heart, a great personality, and a fantastic sense of humor. Don't believe me? Go watch his last unboxing video. Yes, an unboxing video. He, it's hilarious. Uh, you'll get a great sense of his personality in this unboxing video. Uh, I'll see if I can link it in the description below, but go check him out, Indiana Doug. I don't know him personally, but I can just tell he's a great guy and he's a funny YouTuber. Check him out. 